Hey everybody, it is your sensei. I am back with another video and this time is Dragon Age Veilguard. We're going to talk about the three classes in the game. We're going to talk about the mage, we're going to talk about the rogue, we're going to talk about the warrior. And in this video, we're going to go into their specializations, what make them unique from one another, and which one you might want to choose for your playstyle. Do not forget to hit the like button, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, I've done a lot of research for you guys, and hopefully uh, we can jump into this video. So let's talk about the mage. The mage has a staff, a orb, and a knife that can be changed at any given time in combat. They have a heavy attack that they can use the staff, they have heavy attack they can use for the knife and heavy attack they can use. Now let's talk about the three specializations: the Death Caller, the Spell Blade, and the Evoker. What I think no one is talking about is how these are actually also tied to certain classes. The Death Caller is tied to the Morn Watch, the Spell Blade is tied to the Amphibian Crows, and the Evoker is connected to the Shadow Dragons. Now I'm not really sure if that's going to have any overall effect to the gameplay. But I do think it's worth noting that the factions we pick have some kind of connection to the specializations, as you'll see with other specializations. Now, I think we talked enough about the mage. Let's move on to the warrior. The warrior is going to be our big, beefy tank. The warrior is going to be able to use a sword, a shield, and a two-handed weapon. Now, it can throw that shield around by Captain America, and it's got a boomerang effect. You can even hold it to detonate it as well. The two-handed weapon, I would say it's more akin to Stan and Iron Bull, and there are three specializations that kind of go around all three of those abilities, and I feel like we should get directly into talking about the specializations, so let's get directly into them. Now, the three specializations they have, is Champion, which is going to be connected to the Grey Wardens. They also have Reaper, which is connected to the Morn Watch, and the Slayer, which is connected to the Lord of Fortune. So again, we're seeing this uprise in another class, and I'm going to tell you this is the theme. So we want to keep this in mind when we're picking our classes. We're thinking about how we want these characters to perform. We want to also focus on who is their specializations connected to maybe so we can have the factions all in line and you could probably get another buff now we're going to talk about the rogue our dps characters the rogue have their two daggers and a long bow they can get in and out of combat they parry they dodge they debilitate the rogues are not just one dimensional characters like they were in inquisition where you're spamming invisible out of invisible, invisible, out of invisible. Now there are full-fledged attack characters who are just destroyers on the battlefield. So let's talk about the specializations. The rogue has three specializations. The Sabotar, who is connected to the Lords of Fallen. The Duelist, who's connected to the Antivian Crows. And the Veil Ranger, who's connected to the Veil Jumpers. Now that you have the information, and you know if you want to use the two blades and the arrow and stay and destroy people in combat. Or if you want to go out with your sword and shield and switch between a two-handed weapon to make sure your party do not falter and fall. Or if you want to grab your staff, your dagger and orb and debilitate enemies. You might be thinking to yourself, but what faction do I choose? How do I know who I want to align myself with? Well, you're in luck, because today I'm going to go in depth with the factions as well. So let's jump right into it. Now, the first faction on our list is an old favorite, the Grey Wardens. The Grey Wardens are going to give you increased damage against Blighted. They're going to give you boosted defense and health. It's going to help you if you're tanky. It's going to help you a lot if you're trying to play the game tanky, or if you just don't want to be someone with low health. I would choose the Grey Wardens. The second one is the Veil Jumpers. Now, the Veil Jumpers not only give you increased damage for Fate Touch, they're also going to give you critical damage increase on weak points, 
So they're also going to be your crit class. Now, when you're thinking high DPS, you want to go with this class. The Shadow Dragons will give you increased damage against the inventory, but they also give you your special resources back quicker. So if you're a mage, that's mana. If you're a warrior, that's your ability to do shield throw. So the Shadow Dragons can help you out a lot in combat. So keep that in mind when you're building your class. Think about your resources and how it can be helpful. The Lords of Fortune give you increased damage against mercenaries. They also give you the ability to perform takedowns so much better and so much easier on staggered opponents which comes in handy if you want to just get in there and knock people down now the mourn watch gave you increased damage to the dead and lets you apply another affliction stack on targets so that's like doubling up overpowered or weakened or stagger and shocked it's pretty cool if you want to go elemental the interior crows give you increased damage to Antaam, which is the canari forces and it gives you an extra potion now that could be bombs like previous games but we honestly do not know until we get the games in our hands and that is a definition and explanation of every faction in the game so when you're picking your character you want to be very careful on what faction you choose because that's going to be extremely important to the makeup of how you play the story so honestly you got about six different playthroughs in front of you based on what factions you pick and what classes you pick so hopefully this video was enjoyable if you found this video to be helpful at all in any kind of way please hit the like button do not forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching this video i'm super excited about dragon age i'm gonna try to bring you a new dragon age video every week up until release Next video, let's talk about character creation. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.